a blessed and wonderful Sunday po sa lahat ng mga kapatiran to all brethren from uh, Bacolod East Side Church of Christ, from uh, Parana Church of Christ in Western Samar, Baknutan na Kabangunay Family and the others, at sa lahat po ng mga kapatiran sa uh, City Church of Christ, Talisay, uh, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and to the world. Psalms chapter 42 verse 1. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. Ipagpatuloy po natin ang part 2 ng ating um, tinatalakay na let us draw near to God. So ang ating uh, topic po sa araw na ito, sa linggong ito, is let us draw near to God when we feel He is far away. Kung gusto po ninyong makikilala ng lubusan ang uh, Panginoon, kailangan mo ma- ng kailangan mo ng pagsisikap ng todo. But if you love him, medyo hindi mo na kailangan ang pagsisikap ng todo if you love God. Nang kayo po ng inyong mister ngayon o ng inyong missis sa mga married ay naging magkasintahan, nahihirapan ka pa bang kilalanin siya? When you became uh, friends with someone you really like at napag-alaman mong halos magkatulad ang inyong mga hilig, nahihirapan ka pa ba ng todo upang uh, kilalanin ang kaibigan mo ito? The answer is, of course, not. Kapag kayo po ay in love sa Diyos, you want to know everything about Him. You could have uh, a million lifetimes and you were still be more you would like to learn about God. Diba? So, yan po ang mangyayari. You could live a million lifetimes and there would still be more you would like to learn about God. Now, uh, isa sa mga susi Isa sa mga key, one of the keys to getting to know God is at the heart of Moses' prayer. Alam po ba ninyo kung ano ito? Hunger. Ito po ang ating uh, verse in the book of Psalms 42 verse 1. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. Si Moses po hungered for God. Parang gutom na gutom siya para sa Diyos. Hinahangad ni Moses ang Diyos. Na-realize nitong si Moses that nothing else in the world could compare to the experience of being with God. Si Moses ay nagkaroon ng isang passion for his presence. Nawalan ng, um, nawalan ng appetite. Nawalan ng pagnanais itong si Moses for other people and other things. Moses was hungry for God. Ito po ang isa sa mga susi upang ka tayo po ay makalapit sa Panginoon when He seems to be far away. Alam ninyo na, al- alam nyo na ba kung ano ang kabutihan nito? Ito ang kabutihan niya. God will always answer that kind of prayer. In Exodus chapter 33, verses 15 to 18, ang sabi po ng Bible, Then Moses said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. Verse 16, How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked. Because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. Napakaganda po ang narito sa pag-uusap ng Diyos at ni Moses. Pwedeng humingi si Moses ng kahit ano sa Diyos. Pwede niyang hingin, Lord, bless my children. Lord, I am in need of this. I am in need of that. Uh, Lord, can you do this for the people? Ngunit ito si Moses, hindi ito niya ginawa. Hindi ito, or uh, uh, ngunit hindi ito ginawa ni uh, Moses ayon sa talatang ating binasa. His heart desired to have God's presence for himself and the nation of Israel. 
In other words, si Moses po, he want to he he wanted to see God's glory. He wanted all of God. So ang personal na katanungan ko po sa inyo is this. How much is our prayer life about desiring God? O baka puro lang po ang prayer life natin, puro lang po tayo prayer request. Uh, hingi rito, hingi roon, yan po ang, ang nilalaman ng ating mga prayers. Ang nilalaman ng prayers na is puro lang request, request. So are you desiring the presence of God in your life? Yan po ang pamamaraan that you can draw closer to God. So it was James, the brother of Jesus, ang sumulat sa mga believers doon sa Jerusalem in James 4.8 na sabi niya, Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, double-minded people. So if we draw near to God ayon kay James, He will reciprocate and draw near to us. So ang paglapit ng Diyos is spending time with Him. Ang paglapit po sa Diyos is spending time with Him. Ang paglapit po sa Diyos is uh, worshiping Him. Ang paglapit po sa Diyos is praying and talking to Him. Inviting Him in every aspect of our lives. So kaya si James po ay nagbibigay sa atin ng formula for drawing near. Kapag ikaw ay nagkasala, ayon kay James, ito pong formula niya. Kapag ikaw po ay nagkasala, If you have committed sin, you have to confess it, tanggalin ito, and put it under the blood of Jesus Christ. And next, na sinabi po rito ni James, you have to ask the Lord and to examine your heart. You have to examine your motives in the things that make you do what you do. In other words, ibig sabihin, dalhin mo ang inyong puso at magpapapailalim din kayo sa kanyang Lordship. Sana ang ating mga actions, ang ating mga ginagawa, be a manifestation, isang pagpapakita of a clean heart and a clean conscience. Yan po. So notice, ang, nung isinulat ito ni James, ang sinabi niya, purify your heart, double-minded people. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng double-minded? Ang isang taong double-minded ay parang doble kara. Na, he is drawn in two completely different directions. Para siyang namamangka sa dalawang ilog. Para siyang humahabol ng dalawang itik at the same time or sabay-sabay niya nahabol ang dalawang itik. Kaya ang taong double-minded ayon pa kay James ay nagiging mabagal ang kanyang pagkilos because his loyalty is divided. At nalilito siya between faith and between unbelief. Yan. So, a double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. At kanyang spiritual walk is inconsistent because uh, dahil sinusubukan niyang maglingkod sa Diyos and his own interest at the same time. So, alam nating lahat that this is kind of living. Ang, ang ganitong klaseng pamuhay will never work because you cannot serve God or you cannot serve Uh, two masters at the same time. So, narito po ang mga ilang simpleng beginning steps to begin the process of drawing near to God. Mayroon po tayong mga practical steps na based on biblical accounts. No? Keep in mind na ito po ay mga simple but unless you practice, practice them, uh, hindi po kayo maka-experience, makakaranas ng deep connection with God that you seek. So, ito po ang una. Ha? Practical thing. Read His word to draw near to God. Basahin ang salita ng Diyos upang ikaw po ay lumapit sa Kanya. So the key is simply to begin. Maghanap po kayo ng uh, isang place to start. Halimbawa, mag-umpisa ka magbasa ng Gospel of John o doon po ay sa Salmo mag-umpisa or even Genesis and begin reading. Yan po. Before your eyes touch the first word, you have to ask God for His wisdom and understanding. And He will meet you where you are. And soon, ikaw po ay lumapit na sa kanya. Ano pang pangalawa? Pray without ceasing to connect with Jesus. Ugaliin na magiging prayerful. At alam na natin yan. Yan po isa sa mga paraan. Ang Panginoong Iso Kristo po, habit po niya na siya po ay merong daily uh, quiet time for the Lord. And number three, engage with other believers. Ang ibig sabihin, 
madalas nating nakakalimutan, nakakaligtaan, hindi natin napapansin that to draw near to God is to partner with other believers. We were not made by God for isolation, we are made for fellowship. So, mas uh, magiging matagumbay po ang isang tao, ang buhay ng isang tao kapag meron siyang kasamang ibang tao who support him, who encourage him, who inspire him. So, you have to develop friendships with other believers who have the similar goals po sa inyo. Mag-connect ka po doon, ikaw po ay lalapit sa Panginoon. Dumako po tayo sa ating communion. Tandaan po natin ang ating communion is a remembrance of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. Sabi niya, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The night Jesus betrayed, He took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this whenever you eat this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Um, do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Tayo po ay manalangin. Lord, maraming salamat po for the message that we have just heard. Help us, Lord, based on those uh, simple steps that we can draw closer to you. Our lives must be close to you, Lord God, because we have nothing. Uh, we don't have hope without you. So give us hope by drawing near to you. Forgive us from our sins. Be with us in the name of Jesus. Amen.